Hi, Alex Forte here, co-creator of the Simple Senior Swing Program. And I've got a video that's going to share a really cool way that's going to drastically reduce your injuries and actually give you 10, 20, maybe 30 more yards, especially if you're over 50. Now, usually this is reserved for senior swing members, but we've decided to release this to the public just for a limited time. And by the way, if you like this tip, just stick around to the end of the video where you're actually going to get a lot more tips and drills and insights just like this and on what website we share them on. Without further ado, here's the clip. Okay. Now, if you had a, a simple way to think about it, if I had a hammer and I wanted to nail a nail one shot into a board, mm -hmm. I wouldn't exactly take it back a couple of inches and force it down. Mm -hmm. I'd take it back and really feel the weight of the instrument tag that nail, especially if I have to do that all day. Yeah. Now, if I was a lumberjack, now the green lumberjack is gonna grab the ax and yank it around like a pit bull with a rag doll, and he'll be wasted in about a half an hour. Yeah. And so the seasoned lumberjack who's laughing at him is going to use the weight of his axe to deliver the blow. Now we're going to do two things here. Number one, for those of you who've got floating eyes, um, this is going to serve you extremely, extremely well. So if I had, let's say, notice I have a ball on the tee here. See this tee? It's like a little twig. So I get set up with a six pound axe. Well, there's no way that little twig is going to stop the weight of the axe. So when I take the weight of the axe and I heave it into the backswing, I would never heave it behind me, would I? No. I'm not going to do that twice anyways. No. I would never heave it away from me and allow the axe to take out my front leg. Like a scene from Game of Thrones or something. That's right. <laughs> I wouldn't heave the axe straight up to shave bark down the tree. That's not going to get any work accomplished. I'm going to take the weight of the axe and I'm going to heave it back in a way that's going to allow me to cut through the twig. There's only one place for that and that's here. Now notice how my body moved out of the way because if I don't move the body and I heave the axe, I'm, I'm going to throw it all over silly. again. Exactly. Yeah. So when I heave the axe, the body glides out of the way and now I can use the weight of the axe to cut through that tea beautifully. See what's extraordinary and what I really hope people see is the simplicity in this that there's not one jot in Sean's brain thinking about where he needs to put his uh, when he needs to put his body, Could his legs, his arms. Imagine a lumberjack going, uh, make sure the axe is in the right place yeah. here, right? Am, am I on plane with my axe? That I mean, guy's dead before the day yeah. is over. Yeah. All right. So I see the stem or the twig in my mind's eye that's below. So my eyes are actually between the club and the ball, and I can see the leading edge of my club ready to cut through that tee. I feel the weight of the axe. I heave the axe and I use the weight of the ax to cut through that twig. And look at that ball go. So, welcome back. If you found this drill useful and you want more drills, techniques, and insights about how you can improve your accuracy, confidence, distance without hurting your body, you need to check out the Senior Simple Swing Program. Just click on the video in the link in the description below and I will see you